I'm Kristen Barker. I play Clarissa. I am uh, having a bit of a rough time in my life, going through some issues with my marriage and um, kind of trying to figure out really who I am and where to go from here. I, I see Karen again for the first time in God knows how long and she greets me at the door and she's in something scandalous. I'm like, how, how are you doing this to me right now? How are you answering the door? in whatever it is you're wearing, and at the same time, my God, I could never do that. So it's it's always this like to and fro war with her, and also likewise war that I'm fighting within myself. She also doesn't seem to really think about what she says before she says it. She just blah, 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 all out at once, and I have a lot more of an inner monologue. I feel like I'm constantly thinking about what I'm going to say and how it might, the response that it might generate from the person that I'm talking to. I think yeah. playing the uptight, anal retentive bitch is such a departure from who I am that it's fun, that I do relish it in the same way that people relish getting dressed up on Halloween. She's in a really dark place and she's not really sure about which direction her life is going to go and it's really freaking her out because she's the kind of person that likes to have everything planned. I like Liz's character a lot. I like that she's in, in a similar way to Clarissa that she's fighting with herself to, to succeed. I got involved with Bloomers when Matt Palazzolo saw me do a scene with Fernanda in our acting class. At least I think this is what inspired him to get me into the show and create this character. And it was a great opportunity for me because I hadn't experienced anything like this professionally yet. The most memorable moment came actually before shooting and was at the first table read. and being in Fernanda's living room and sitting around in a group and everybody having their script and going through every single episode and you really had this feeling in the atmosphere like there was something developing. That's something that stayed with me long after we were out.